the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create an EBSCO host account. You can create an EBSCO host account to use with the Discovery Search Catalog, which is owned by EBSCO, or you can use it when you're searching any of the EBSCO databases. So I'm going to show you how to do that by first using the Search Catalog. And up here at the top there is the EBSCO folder sign-in. If you click on that, that's going to take you to where you would sign in or create an account with EBSCO. The My Library account is something separate. That's how you would renew materials or check materials that you have checked out. And that is with the library, so that's separate. So you're going to click on this EBSCO folder sign-in. And it will take you to the option of signing in with either Google or you can create an account with an email. And for this tutorial, I'm going to just sign in with Google because it's faster. And now once you are signed in, then you can see that there's the option of obviously seeing your sign out, sign in right here. But there's a new option called folder. And so that's where I would organize my research. If I was doing a research topic, then I can organize my research by creating folders. And down here, I have an example of some folder topics, some research topics that I have made folders for. And if you open them, it will show you how many resources you have. So I have three articles available in this game-based learning research topic. And they're listed right there. Um, if you don't create a folder and you just want to save materials, then it will just show up in my folder and it will just be organized under the resource type. But if you're going into a resource, I'll do a quick search here. If you just do a search, you can add materials into your folder pretty quickly by just clicking on the folder icon right next to the resource. So if this is a resource that you want to save and add, just click that folder. And then it will pop up what folder you want to add it to, and then you can add game-based learning. The nice thing about making an account with EBSCO is you can use it with any of the databases that are purchased by EBSCO. It's the same interface and it works the same way. So you would log in with the same account and you'll have the same features to be able to add it to your folders.